During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about water. When you think about water, our crops certainly need water, but too much water is bad. So let's first start by quantifying water. A lot of times you'll hear, we got an inch of rain overnight. Well, how much actually is an inch of rain when you spread it out over a whole acre? All right, so an acre inch of rain is 27,154 gallons. So in other words, if you had one acre worth of ground. Which and is you about get an, like a football field. And you get an inch of rain on it, that means on that acre you got 27,154 gallons. That is a lot of water. All right, so if your crop needs all that water, no problem. It soaks into the soil, the crop takes it up, everybody's happy. But let's say that your soil was already full of water, now you got 27,000 gallons on each acre to get rid of. And many farm fields may be 10 acres, 20 acres, even 200 acres big. Well, you take 200 times 27,000, that's a lot of gallons of water. Yep, it is. So if you go back to maybe the first day that you went to college and you had a soils class, what they're usually going to tell you is your soil should be comprised of, or your land should be comprised of roughly 50% soil, 25% water, 25% air. Well, what happens is if you get too much water in that soil, in other words, basically the water table rises, now instead of having 25% air in there, you might have 0% air and 50% water. That's not a good ratio. The other thing that we often talk about in agriculture is field capacity for water. That is the roughly 25% water in that soil. That does not mean the water table is high. That's just the water that your soil can naturally hold. So you may be wondering how much water can the crop actually use? When we look at a crop like corn, it's estimated that a corn crop needs 2,500 gallons of water per bushel. So for each one inch of rain, that's about 11 bushels of corn that it could produce. Now on our farm, we generally get somewhere around 20 inches of moisture throughout the whole season, counting the snowfall and everything. Well, 20 inches of moisture times 11 bushels, that's 220 bushel corn. And I can tell you right now, we can produce more than 220 bushel corn on 20 inches of moisture. So I know that number's off a little bit, but at least it gives you an idea that it does take quite a few gallons of water to produce almost any crop. All right, let's talk about too much water. When farmers are installing drain tile, they will use what's called a drainage coefficient. What that means is how many inches can you get rid of over a 24 hour period? Most drainage systems in our region of the country are set up on about a half inch drainage coefficient. So in other words, over the course of 24 hours, you can only get rid of a half an inch per acre out of that field. And that's a big deal because when you get a large rain, let's say you get a two inch rain or a four inch rain, if you don't have drainage tile and your field is already at field capacity for water holding, you're gonna get two inches or four inches running off probably in just a matter of an hour or two if that rain came fast. With the drainage tile, you're gonna have that water releasing over a long period of time, which is great and helps reduce flooding. Well, once again, there are a lot of things when it comes to water and farming, so we wanted to run through a few of those today. Another thing that's really important to farming is having great weed control. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 